welcome back to my channel my name is Brenda the newbie crocheter and I welcome all you yarny folks and the crochet community and the community welcome back to my channel uh, it's whip Wednesday let's see what we have in fact I don't have much um, I've given you guys a sneak peek at some of the projects or well, the project that I'm working on which is the blanket for my nephew but I will go ahead and show you my progress it is a pattern from uh, Jada um, Jada stitching I think is it's the name and uh, stitches Jada stitches and it is a sunburst uh, pattern that a ripple sunburst pattern that I'm using with the spider-man colors in hopes of making it look as spider-man as possible but this is what I have so far. I started it the night before last. And I'm probably going to have to block it, but I'm pleased with the progress so far. This is the yarn right here, the blue and red yarn that I got from um, giftworthy.com. The blue is mainstay. No. The blue is Craft Smart, the red is Mainstay. And um, I'm hoping to make it probably still double the size or maybe a little bit more than double the size. So hopefully I'll be done by next week. Um, I currently don't have a comfortable sitting place. I have a puppy, so when I go to the living room to sit in the sofa to crochet, he wants to jump all over me, which is the reason why I try to do everything in my dining room table. And that's why my computer and everything's in the dining room table. And it is not the best, most comfortable place to crochet. So I'm going little by little, but I think I've done pretty good so far. But anyways, let me see if I can. So Jada stitching, this is, or stitches. I'm sorry if I'm saying the, the name incorrectly. In fact, I think I have, hold on one second, hold that thought. Jada Stitches, so here's the pattern. So I'm following her pattern and it's, uh, the beginning was a little confusing because I don't read patterns very well, but as I went through with the tutorial that she has online on her YouTube channel, and then follow with the with the written pattern I was able to figure things out so I think it's coming along pretty well so I'll try to post the link to the tutorial and the bottom of the video another whip that I have is this and I am being very careful because it is being made with a skein of yarn that my sister-in-law gave me for, for Christmas last year and it's beautiful it's summer nice if you're not familiar with it summer nice is from lion brand it is a very fine number one weight brand uh, uh, yarn and I actually lost the um, but I discarded the band. So it's the color is Treasure Island. It does come uh, 437 yards to a skein. And it's weight number one, Summer, Summer Nights from Lion Brand. It is a beautiful yarn. It's got a lot of um, lurex going through it. It's got blues and greens. But it's really, really fine. And I sp I've only worked on it maybe a, a few hours. But this is all that I have so far. And because I only have one skein, I'm gonna to try to just make a cowl with it. And this is actually for myself, which is the reason why I'm not giving it too much attention. Not because I don't care, but because I'm trying to work on some Christmas gifts for other people before I work on projects for myself. But this is the yarn without the band. As you see, I have still a ton of it. It is just one skein and I'm working on this thus far so it is going to be hopefully a cowl 
Uh, the stitch that I'm using, some people call it the Elizabeth stitch. I've seen it, um, I've seen a ton of um, names for this particular stitch. I particularly love it because it's tight enough yet light enough. We're here in Florida. It can be used for blankets, um, clothing, uh, shawls, uh, cowls, anything. It's just a really nice, nice, beautiful stitch. And, and my OCD kicks in perfectly because it's just so so straight, the lines come out so pretty and um, I think it just gives it a really beautiful, a really beautiful look. I don't know if you can really see the shimmer. There you go. It is beautiful and I love it. And I'm hoping that the one skein is going to give me enough to just do the cowl and just, uh, and this is like I said, it's going to be for myself. So. It was a gift for my sister-in-law, so I wouldn't want to do something with it and give it to somebody else. I want to do it, keep it for myself. So I'm looking forward to finishing it. Um, but this will be, like I said, once I'm done with everything else for my family. So what can I tell you? Um, as you guys probably know, and, and if you've seen my other videos, I do live in Florida. My husband and I do own a landscaping company and uh, the Florida weather is t is turning. This week has actually been completely beautiful, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous week. It feels very fallish, which is really weird because here in Florida, you normally don't feel fall weather till December. So the fact that it's really the first week of fall, yesterday being the first day of fall and it feeling like this, it was kind of nice. Um, I, even though we have a construction company, I work in the hotel industry and with the COVID-19, uh, here in Central Florida, it's been a really big blow. I currently am working from home. I do go to the office every once in a while, um, but I'm in human resources and most everything I have to do because the hotel is so empty, the resort is so empty, and there's only a handful of employees. And the way that my office is situated is kind of, you know, on its own. Um, I feel more comfortable just working from home since everything that I can do there, I can do here. And so I'm currently working just a few days a week from home, so it gives me a lot of free time to to uh, crochet and uh, keep myself busy with these projects. I mean, the crochet community has been so awesome, and it's really been a blessing to have come upon you guys. And um, from Granny D, uh, Karen, the uh, yarn addict, um, just so many people. I mean, it will be. A laundry list a huge list of people to 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 thank for just the support and just uh, just encouraging me to just continue to do to do better and move forward and continue to do what I'm doing so I thank everybody who has been supportive I did send some happy mail the other day and they should be receiving it soon um, like I said in my prior video I hope they like it I hope they enjoy it I hope they can use it and uh, let me see, what else can I tell you? It's kind of quiet right now because Maxie, my puppy, is taking a nap. Otherwise, he will be jumping all over my other dog and they will be running all over the house. So, um, uh, yeah, things are quiet right now. So, that's good. If I look over, he's probably, yeah, he's knocked out over there on the floor. Right next to the other one. So, um, let me see, what else can I tell you? um well that's about it um just i hope that you guys like i hope that you guys subscribe please share my channel with others um and uh like i always say i hope you have a blessed day a wonderful rest of your week stay nice like granny d says don't be ugly stay nice um stay safe wear your mask and i'll see you in my next video bye